I'm uh, Udayan, uh, co-founder and CEO of Volta Labs. My name is uh, Will Langford. I'm a co-founder and head of engineering at Volta Labs. A few years ago, uh, I worked at a synthetic biology company um, building automation for synthesizing DNA and RNA. And I noticed some problems uh, in the space, specifically as it relates to scaling up automation for the century of biology. And since then, I've been fascinated by the idea that you could build automation ground up. And so I went to the MIT uh, Media Lab to explore and ask this question and, and find solutions um, and ultimately settled up on working on this piece of technology that revolves around manipulating small volume liquids using electric field. My research was centered around this crazy idea. All of life is assembled from 20 amino acids. Why can't we do the same thing in engineering? I went about trying to build uh, integrated machines and robots from a small set of millimeter scale parts. Ultimately found that I was trying to make engineering more like biology. Um, and I see Volta as an opportunity to really flip that and tackle some problems in automation to allow biology to be treated more like engineering, to give biologists tools to manipulate uh, liquids and, and biological reactions at a, a smaller scale and a higher throughput scale. Sequencing costs have, have plummeted even faster than Moore's Law. That's opening up large markets in the, in the sequencing space. But uh, a lot of that neglects what comes up front of sequencing, which is how you get from sort of a DNA sample uh, like saliva and convert that into something that can be put on the sequencer. Um, and that whole space, sample prep, uh, those costs have largely stagnated and is quickly becoming the bottleneck in more widespread sequencing adoption. In a conventional uh, liquid handling machine is a, is a large boxy robot uh, that uh, is basically a, a moving arm that has many pipette tips. And the way it works is by picking up liquids, moving them to other instruments that are placed on the deck, passing samples between those instruments. And so to do a conventional sample prep, uh, conventionally requires a whole handful of instruments that all need to be coordinated. They all have sort of separate data silos and are not well integrated. The opportunity that we see here is this kind of digital microfluidics that we're pursuing enables a much more end-to-end -end approach where you you pipette samples on at the start of the at, at the start of the workflow and can go all the way through to sequencing ready end products. And we do that by uh, stitching an assortment of different functionalities on this core piece of technology that Will was talking about, which involves uh, manipulating samples, reagents, um, using in, 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 in a droplet form, uh, using electro we, we are really trying to sort of make biology into an engineering principle. And this sort of comes from the background uh, Will has and, and I have and many of uh, the team members uh, bring. Um, and, and I think something that sort of ties us all together is this fact that uh, biology is a fairly complex system. And to be able to tackle the system, you, you need to have uh, sort, of, uh, sort of a systems perspective that cuts across many, many disciplines. Um, and I think that um, all of us on our team currently embody that. And you will, you'll probably see this uh, shift as, as we are starting to see uh, biology pervading more of our lives and more companies like Volta sort of uh, co coming to sort of uh, uh, emerge as this uh, new type of uh, uh, sort of biotechnology company. Uh, it is, it is, uh, it is a necessity. It is, it is inevitable that uh, the, uh, sort of more engineers and more system thinkers and more sort of uh, people who want to build tools uh, to to engineer biology uh, better uh, to sort of uh, start 
uh, and or join and, and build companies like ours. One of the things I think Volta has done really well is keeping the customers in our design development cycle. And we have had customers uh, who sort of uh, take the archetype of a academic lab to a uh, biomedical research facility, to cancer research institutions, uh, biotechnology companies, uh, so on and so forth. And so our current focus uh, and, and the way we are deploying the, the first suite of products uh, is first get it in the hands of a few early adopters um, and we are currently looking for uh, early adopters who, who will uh, use our solution uh, for sequencing sample preparation. And these customers are typically uh, in um, sort of uh, in the shape of um, uh, research labs, uh, be it in the industry or, or in the uh, academia. We work best with customers who um, see value in not just one application, but many different applications, uh, but starting with uh, sequencing sample preparation.